Wilson. Griffin immediately trying to make her presence felt. A good defense from Adelaide. We'll give them a look at the offensive end of the floor. Adelaide have lost their past three games against Bendigo. Had the wood on them in recent times. Borlase works her way into the lane. Outside. Willoughby has to put up a prayer. Falling well short. Good defense this time from the Spirit. Nice defensive possessions from both sides to start. Let's hope they can uh, keep it up for the rest of the quarter. Davis backing down. What a block. Bree Turner, early statement. And Adelaide get the ball back. Mansfield assessing the floor. Bourne works her way into the lane. Bit too hot off the glass, though. Still yet to score, although Adelaide have a fresh 14 seconds to work with here. They have just come off briefly. Bendigo hands, so in fact, it's 24 to work with. Long range attempt from Bourne fell sh falls short. Mansfield, strong rebound. Borlay thought about the corner three, drove baseline instead, and got scoring underway. Nice, that's really tough. You'll find here at the Adelaide uh, 36ers Arena that rings are really bouncy, so they'll have long rebounds. So you want to box out those long ones. Nice drive inside from Merrin Cracker. But at the other end, Born able to respond for Adelaide. Griffin, her first three attempt, falling short. But Davis, it's going to be something the Lightning will have to watch tonight, that offensive rebounding ability of the Canadian International. Ali Wilson, Cracker, inside. High attempt. Pretty good off the hand. Willoughby, though, brings it down with pace. Can't get it to go. Players hit the floor, including Izzy Borlays. Lightning with a fast 4-2 start, early stages of the first quarter. Scored at least nine points in all of her games so far, Izzy Borlase. Annie Wehrung also looks that uh, rebound attempt. Turner. It's a lackadaisical looking two-point attempt. Spirit get the ball back. Griffin, pass inside was great for Werung. And then back for Davis. The team basketball from the Spirit, but the Lightning forced it out of bounds with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Werung, inside for Davis, has to put it up. Soon to someone, Ali Wilson. Caught in two minds, one of the extra pass. But another good defensive set from the Lightning. Of course, it's the turnover. Of course, Ali Wilson back in familiar territory. Product of the Eastern Mavericks. And coming off a strong NBL 1 2023 campaign with Norwood. Absolutely dominated. Turner got it from Borlase. Back out for Borlase. Drives hard inside. Kicked it out for Mansfield, who loves that spot. <laughs> Lovely feed from Borlase for Mansfield. He gets an early confidence booster. And when Lauren Mansfield gets hot, Tessa from deep, better watch out. I know, it's a scary game when that happens, that's for sure. I've definitely played against her, and there's not much you can do when that happens. <laughs> Left-hand attempt. Here's Werung. Griffin switches it all the way over to Ali Wilson. Raising up. Misfiring. It's a nice little early break here for Adelaide. Can they extend it? Mansfield. The ball A's. Now Bourne and Mansfield working along the perimeter. Sensing an opportunity to... Some early momentum, but Ali Wilson says, thanks, I'll lay it up from the turnover. When your offense isn't working, go to defense, and <coughs> Ali Wilson just made that happen. So 
Abby Werung hits the floor. Defensive foul is called on Abby Werung in the end. Willoughby did look like she just had the left hand out momentarily as well, but referee saw it against Werung. Her fourth WNBL season with the spirit. Mansford and Bourne. Good look here for Bourne. Easy rebound for Davis. Werung v. Borle is an exciting matchup. The fans to look forward to. Davis loves a deep two attempt. That one falls short. And another rebound for Bree Turner. Borle has started hot. That was a nice hand in there from the Spirit. They thought it was off lightning hands, but it will be an Adelaide ball with 14 on the shot clock. Borlaser started hot. She's had a hand in all. Three scores so far in terms of assists. Maybe three assists to her name. Turner just found Willoughby at Mansfield. We'll have to put it up from deep. Strong rebound from Willoughby. And now Bourne with a really good look. She can't get it to go. Turner keeps it alive. It's a good hustle from Adelaide. Ultimately, in the end, Ali Wilson up high. Keeps her hands around the ball. Werung driving aggressively inside. Turner with the rebound. Quick get and go off the glass. Willoughby, again, able to draw the contact. He's driving aggressively up the floor early, Jocelyn Willoughby. I find myself watching as a fan. Yes. I need a switch over, you know. <laughs> it's a commentator mode. Yeah. <laughs> yes, hello and welcome to the commentary position, Tessa. That does Thanks. happen. <laughs> <laughs> so Jocelyn Willoughby will be heading to the charity stripe, as I mentioned before. Last season with the Sydney Flames averaging 15 points and four rebounds from the 16 games. Lots of experience in the WNBA with the New York Liberty. The past four years. Didn't play in 2021 though due to an Achilles injury. Had a good start though to her time at Adelaide, averaging 12 points per game. I really love the way that she plays. She comes in and she plays really hard. You know what you're going to get with her. Yeah. yeah. A couple of subs made. Taylor Braz will come on and pretty handy inclusion as well. Kelly Wilson. On in game number 436 in the WNBL. Nice spin from Froling. He's also coming off the bench and immediately making an impact. Ball lays. And Bourne working so well there. Izzy Bourne. Lovely work off the glass. Long attempt from Cracker drops. Spirit get their first triple of the night. 32% from deep this year. Aaron Cracker. Didn't have thought about the long range attempt. Instead, fed it to Borlase, who was caught in two mines. And Froling pounced. She collects the steal. It's Kelly Wilson into the game. Now, Ali Wilson along the perimeter. Cracker left free again. Gives the spirit a lead. Nice little fight back here from Bendigo. It's great when uh, Ali Wilson comes off those on board. She knows she's going to make the right decision with the ball, whether it's create for herself or create for her teammates. And she created there for Cracker, and uh, Cracker re rewarded her with an assist, which is nice. Tonks on the floor here as well for Adelaide. She's running out of time. Has to put up the last minute shot. Bourne keeps it in the field of play momentarily and steps out of bounds. Is he Bourne? What a pickup she was, been for Adelaide. Nat Hurst said pre season that she was one of the most sought after Aussie collegiate players looking to turn pro this year. So Adelaide have been able to get their hands on her. A good start to this one. She's been super impressive coming in. Um, I know she didn't play much WNBL beforehand, but the college system has really worked for her. Yeah, it and, has. Uh, she's very solid. She's taking her shots. 
Has to shoot here, Kelly Wilson. And was blocked by Izzy Borlase. Can she do it at the offensive end of the floor? She falls short. Such a versatile player, Izzy Borlase. Already has the assists. Now has a block to go with it as well. Screen from Froling. And the one-two works superbly there with Cracker. And the foul is called on the spirit. Casey Samuels, we highlighted pre-game. Stepping onto the floor. And ninth WNBL season. Two minutes left in this first quarter. Turner for Mansfield. Works her way inside. Kicks it all the way back out. The mole having some time on the floor here. But two shots will be coming up now for Taylor Mole. Late whistle. Is Very it it? late mm. whistle. Suspicions. <laughs> <laughs> Rain raised. No. Uh, that was a great take by Mole. Low on the shot clock and she had to take it. So she was and put the pressure on the referee and she got lucky. She's frolling called for her first personal foul. And they're in the, the bonus here, the Spirit, anyway. Seventh game for Taylor Moll, her first WNBL season after five years in the college system. Also part of the Centre of Excellence setup up the latter part of the last decade. We're all tied up. 12, 12 apiece, 6 v 7th. Is called this time against Willoughby, much, much to her disgust. Here's a look on replay, you make up your own mind. Kelsey Griffin certainly turned around to the referee and made sure the ref is watching. So, eight seconds left, and they will have the ball here. Adelaide, rather, Bendigo in front court. Feels like both teams are kind of just feeling each other out early stages, Tessa. Yeah, it does. They're playing some good defense. They've both got, got some really good offensive looks. Um, and they're being aggressive on the rim. Mm. I love to see that in a basketball match. I don't like teams when they settle. Um, so, yeah, the more pressure they can put on the referees to put the whistle in their mouth and make a call, I think the better. 13 rebounds to Adelaide and 8 to the Spirit as Ali Wilson... Is at the free throw line, as I mentioned before, terrific season with Norwood in the NBL one. Average 23 points, 11 rebounds, seven assists. National All-Star five, Central All-Star five. She was the Central Finals MVP. She comes into this WNBL season in terrific touch. Willoughby guarded by Samuels, then threw it away. Spirit. A little bit of momentum here just before quarter time. A, a two-point lead above all. Griffin driving hard. Typical KG. Can't get it to go, but Spirit still have the ball here. I like how both teams are being really measured with the sort of shots that they're taking. I think that's super important in the game. You know, you want to know what sort of shots you're going to take so you can rebound. Yep. Season number 12 from Kelsey Griffin and still playing quintessential Griffin way. Samuels. Oh, she caught bank. <laughs> She's on. <laughs> Casey Samuels off the bench. Banks it in off the glass. Spirit have a five-point lead. Nice little run here for Bendigo as Willoughby raises up. Can't get it to go. And Alicia Froling comes up with it. Big opportunity for Bendigo. This pass from Griffin was trademark KG and Samuels has another bucket. She's just picking up where she left off last game. I love that. Bond answers with a terrific three. 
skill and potential of Izzy Bourne on display. No shot clock. Ball in the hands of the Vets. Kelly Wilson to Griffin. And Froling comes up with it again. Samuels for Kelly Wilson. Does she have the final say? Wants to pass it off. Does to KG23. You can't get it to go. But that's an excellent fight back from Bendigo. And at the first change, they lead Adelaide 19 to 15. Second quarter coming up in just a few moments. pathway in basketball? She Hoops Leadership and Confidence Scholarship can help. We're offering 30 girls from around Australia the opportunity to develop as coaches, players and officials with mentoring from some of Australia's best basketballers and some of Australia's best coaches in breaking down barriers. If you're a girl aged 15 to 18, then this is for you. This five-month program will accelerate your development both on and off the court. Interested? Head to shehoops.com.au to apply. Welcome back to Adelaide 36's Arena, where Adelaide burst out of the blocks. They led 9-4 at one stage, but a 15-6 run late in that quarter from the Bendigo Spirit means they lead 19-15 at the first change. Ben Waterworth with you alongside Jewel Olympian and WNBL champion Tessa Levy. How did the, the Spirit get themselves back into that contest? Because it sort of just came out of nowhere in the end, Tessa. Yeah, it sort of did. I think um, they got some defensive stop. Ali Wilson got a couple of steals there, created some offense that way. Um, and I think that's the key for the Bendigo Spirit. They need to keep the ball moving. I think that's going to be their advantage tonight. So Cracker as well hit a couple of long range threes. She's got eight points and three boards. And then Casey Samuels also off the bench with five points as well. Good start to this one at the Adelaide 36ers Arena. Always tough to come to this venue and and win. It can be quite an intimidating venue at, at times. Quite a big venue to to play at. Tessa, you've played a lot of this venue over the years. I have, and I, you know, I have struggled with the depth perception sometimes yep. at this ground because, um, yeah, it's kind of funny we don't play in um, courts that are that deep. Yeah. So. Um, it's an adjustment um, coming in, and then obviously they have really bouncy rims as yes. well. So, yeah. Bouncier than Townsville. I always heard here players talking about bouncy rims at Townsville as well. Oh, I think Adelaide might might take the gaper right. on this one. Interesting. They've uh, made a good start from deep. Have the lightning there. Uh, rather the, the spirit, they're three of six. Adelaide are two of seven. Griffin, Kelly Wilson. Rolling has five to shoot here and lost control. And both players hit the floor as well. And four and four up the floor here. Willoughby. Well, Lays fading away. Falling well short in the end. Would we have liked to have seen her be a bit more aggressive? She had Kelly Wilson on her. Back her down. Yeah. Get on the rim that way. Kelly Wilson. Just keeps control, hits the floor though. There's a pile on. Jump ball is called. Defense in the end from Taylor Brazel. Forcing the jump ball. Possession arrow looks like it's still with the Bendigo Spirit. Six seconds on the shot clock here. Griffin, aggressive. Turner coming up with the rebound. Already five rebounds for Bree Turner. He's born. Hook. Delightful. Very nice. Took it time. Wasn't in a rush. Good touch. And at the other end, Alicia Froling with the quick reply. Now 
court against the Spirit. First team foul in this second quarter. Samuels just with the hand in there. 21-17 lead for Bendigo. Turner yet to hit the scoreboard. And the power of work defensively. Mansfield kicks it out. Bourne has been hot, real hot early. She's got 12 of Adelaide's 20 points. I really like that. A young player, she comes in, she knows what shots to take and what her shots are. She understands that that's her strength and she uses them. That was awesome defense from Turner. It's a tough, tall opponent in Davis. Mansfield with the pass. Out to Bourne again with a hot hand. Can't get it to go, and Davis this time. Wraps that basketball up. Here's Froling. Backing down on Bourne. What she got defensively this time? Very good defense from Izzy Bourne. And Adelaide can retake the lead. Mansfield steps back. Danger. Can't get that one to drop. Lightning starting to find their groove. Early stages at the second. Ali Wilson puts the arm out. Offensive foul is called. Couple of teammates, three on three teammates as well earlier this year, having a lot of success. Lauren Mansfield and Ali Wilson now going to battle on the basketball floor. Timeout called, and this timeout is brought to you by Signet, Australia's number one digital accessories brand. Signet continues to power the WNBL, Australian owned and designed. Signet is available at JB Hi-Fi, Officeworks, and other leading retailers. For more information, head to signet.com. Coach Kennedy Kerryama addressing his side from the bench. What are some of the strengths you've obviously worked with Kennedy last year? Yep. What are some of the strengths that you really uh, like about Coach Kennedy's game? I really enjoy the freedom that he gives his players to, to make the right play. Um, I think that's something that the, the players really embody and that empowers players too. So, um, yeah, I really enjoy playing under Coach Kennedy. Yep. Um, and I know the group really admires that about him as well. Um, that bit of freedom, you don't often get that. No. Um, but, yeah, with an experienced group like the Bendigo Spirit have, you know they're going to take the right shots. The second season with Bendigo, Sixth season overall, obviously, coached the West Coast Waves during a real tough time in the early 2010s. So, 23 wins and 77 losses in Coach Kennedy's uh, WNBL campaign so far. But he was one, essentially one get win away from finals last season. Something pretty special with the spirit. His turn up. Some movement. Mansfield cutting towards the rim. Seven to shoot here. Bourne for Borlays. Has to go to the mid-range too. Turner all by herself. They did well there, Adelaide, to use up all their shot clock and got a good look. Bendigo get away with one. Griffin trying to feed Cracker, who had the hot hand. Pick and roll here with Griffin, who tried to bring Davis into the game. Borlays is up to it. Behind the back she goes. Mansfield, Borlays and Turner. Bourne screaming for it, but it comes out to Willoughby. She drives aggressively into the lane, but good defense here from Bendigo. Might force a, a tough rush shot. Borlays can't get it to go. Bourne can't keep it in. Bendigo get the ball back. That was a great defensive set from the Bendigo spirit to get that stop. Adelaide were being really aggressive and trying to make some moves, but um, they got nothing out of it. Hopefully, uh, Bendigo can put a good set here in the half court. Six minutes left in this second quarter. Great to have you company on nine now. Second of our double header. Southside getting the win over Canberra earlier tonight. Wehrung loves the corner. Didn't get that one to drop, though. And Adelaide moved the ball up the floor quickly. 
Bendigo well set. Ball lays all oxygen and Werung. How about the hands of Abby Werung? Has Wilson on the outside. Went herself. The floater didn't go though. Both teams, just from a score perspective, in a holding pattern. Strong defensive game from both these clubs so far. Mansfield for Bourne. For Willoughby. Behind the back goes Willoughby. Step back. Brilliant. So nice from Jocelyn Willoughby. Gives Adelaide the lead, 22-21. That was a pretty move, Tessa. <laughs> it was really nice, wasn't it? Um, I was just going to say before that is the, we've had a couple of rush shots from both sides, so maybe a bit of con tempo control from the point guards here and trying to get a really specific shot. This timeout is brought to you by your local forward dealer proudly supporting community basketball in Australia. So Lightning with a 22-21 advantage. And both teams are struggling from the, from the field at the moment. The, the Lightning going at... 29% and the Spirit going at 33%. Doesn't take long though for the momentum to get going and, and for that to, to quickly flip, but both teams at the moment are pretty strong defensively. Yeah, I think it's credit to both sides. Really locking down on defense. Shots are hard to come by. So hopefully as the game goes on, the game will open up a little bit more. And then you've got to really focus on picking the right shots and being really aggressive at the rim. Despite being Despite just sitting, uh, you know, towards the bottom end of the ladder at the moment, the Adelaide Lightning, they're actually the best defensive team in the WNBL, conceding just 69 points per game. They're a stingy defence under coach Nat Hurst, who was a terrific scorer when she got, got going, absolutely the seven-time WNBL champ. She's really drilled in a strong defensive game plan with her team this season. She definitely has, and I think, you know, she's recruited that way. You can tell by the roster, they're really long, yep. agile and athletic. So it's a credit to her and what she's put together. And I think the Adelaide are going to be a team to really be reckoned with this season. Lee Wilson trying to create. Griffin has eight to shoot here. Feeds Werung. Will she go to work here on Willoughby? Feeds it to Davis, who just had the height and the lucky roll to give the Spirit the lead. Good patience shown from Bendigo on offense. Borlase was hoping for Turner, but Turner had a back to Borlase in the end, and the, the jump ball prevails. Possession arrow still with Adelaide with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Davis on the floor did play one WNBL season with the Adelaide Lightning back in 2017-18. Willoughby works away inside. Nice hand in there from Cracker. The deflection creates the turnover. Can they make a count of the offensive end? Griffin can't get that one to go. Didn't look too bad off the hand as well. This is Tonks. Good look here for three. Opportunity was there, and Griffin brings down the rebound. Her first rebound, Kelsey Griffin, of the night. Davis. At the charity strike. Pinched by Turner. Will she go all the way? Unselfishly feeds it. Gave it to Bourne, who was fouled, and will head to the line to shoot two. That was really great by Turner. She was really active on the defensive end and made that happen and then made the right pass. So you mentioned Izzy Bourne, a, a case of going to college and, a, and it really clicking for her. So she spent four years at the University of Nebraska. Importantly, three of those years, she was actually the captain of the team. And she averaged in her last senior year, 13 points and seven rebounds. And then importantly, played with the, the Canberra Nationals in the uh, NBL one East and she was part of the all-star five set up there. She's coming in this WNBL season in great form. She's already averaging 11 points per game and she's topped that in the first quarter with 12 to her name. 
We're up, driving baseline. Great defense, though, from turnover. 23 apiece. Turner was thinking about thre threading the eye of the needle there. Tonks was cutting towards the basket. Born now lobs it in for Turner. One-on-one -on -one here with Froling. Fading away. Can't get it to go. Turner still no points to enable. She does have the eight rebounds. Alicia Froling with a rare three-point attempt. Just her third attempt of the season so far. Now Turner for ball A's from deep. Can't get it to go. Both teams continuing the struggle from the field as Alicia Froling is fouled. She was attempting that rebound. Love to see something really specific here from Benigo on the offensive end. Know exactly what sort of shot they want. Uh, get to that, and then that gives them, puts them in a good position to rebound yep. and get in defensive transition spots. Anything specific you would like to see? Ooh, I can't give away secrets. Oh, okay, right. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Kelly Wilson will be all over it. Okay. <laughs> she has the sporting now. It's in wise hands. We're on for Froling. Cracker in a couple of big threes in that first quarter. Kelly Wilson. Herself in the end, the, the look was on. Drop for her. Well read there by Samuels. Forced the turnover. Might get it back here and a look for three. Can she do it at the offensive end? She can't. Comes off the hands of the Lightning. So a fresh 14 for Bendigo to work with here. And a minute 49 left in this first half. I love what Kelly Wilson did there. She contested for the rebound. She may not have got it, but she made the other Adelaide players think that they she was going to get it, and then they eventually knocked it out. So, Benny go ball. What she like to play with Kelly Wilson? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, the smarts that she has, the knowledge of the game, the way she can share it, it's, it's very impressive. There's a reason why she is one of the best point guards the game has ever seen. And not slowing down. Not slowing down at all. No. Very, very strong NBL 1. Campaign with the Bendigo Braves, a championship winning campaign with the Bendigo Bra Braves under Mark Alabakov. Another terrific season. She won the award that's actually named after her, the Golden Hands Award. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I absolutely love that when that happens. <laughs> Alicia Froling with five to shoot, loves using the left hand these days, and she draws the contact and will head to the line for a couple. And Alicia's a player, Tessa, that has just grown and developed so much over the last couple of years. Yeah, she has, and I don't think people understand quite what Froles has sort of been through with her, her wrist injury yep. that she happened to have in uh, the when she went to university. So, yeah, for her to come back and then focus solely on shooting with her left hand and to be able to have an impact at the WNBL level, it's a credit to her and the way that she... She works out off the court, on the court. Um, you know, she works hard in the gym as well. So I love watching Froles play, and geez, she can hit a mean screen, which is what I love love about playing with her. Can't get either of those to go. So we're still locked at 23 pence. Low scoring affair. Who can break the game open? Will it be ball A's in and out? That looked all right. Just one of those nights. Maybe it is the the rims that are uh, playing up tonight, Tessa. Samuel's driving hard and earns a, a trip to the free throw line. I can guarantee it is the rims. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adelaide 36 of Marina. <laughs> Make some noise! Six of six so far this season. From the charity strike, Casey Samuels. Make it seven of seven. Just put the commentators close. Oh, on. yes, it's Ben. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she always had it in the, in the bag. She's fine, eight of eight. <laughs> Importantly, gives Bendigo a two point lead. She's got seven points tonight. Casey Samuels, Cracker still with the eight leading point scorer for Bendigo, 13 for Bourne. Ball A's just hasn't quite got going at the offensive end of the floor from a scoring perspective. 
Mansfield. For Bourne. Bendigo switching it up on the defensive end, getting into a zone there. Here's Ali Wilson. Acceleration brilliant. Out for Samuels. Eight to shoot here. Lovely pass inside for Alicia Froling. Is fouled. Bree Turner, not too happy with the call, but Froling will earn a trip to the stripe. Before that, though, we'll have a timeout here at the Adelaide 36 Arena with the Bendigo Spirit leading 25 to 23. This timeout is brought to you by CTM Sport. CTM Sport is here to transform your team's travel experience. Leave the hassle of off-court arrangements to CTM Sport, who are the experts in sports travel management. Get the winning edge at ctmsport.com.au. Has the lack of offensive flow and scoring, has that surprised you, Tessa, or was it not really a surprise considering the, the defensive capabilities of both teams? Yeah, not really, to be honest. I think um, Adelaide and, and Bendigo are both really defensive orientated. But, um, yeah, hopefully, as we see in the second half, that'll open up a little bit. But also, I love... I'm a defensive player. I love playing defence. So, I really enjoy good defence. And you can tell that these teams, they work really hard at that in the off-season and during training. And you mentioned to me before him that you love playing with Abby Werung, who was nominated for the Defensive Player of the Year last year. Well, she epitomises the number 13, the, uh, the Bendigo defence first mentality. Yeah, she does. Abby's like can defend point guard to a five man. She's so solid with her feet. She's quick with her footwork, and she has the length for it. She can contest yep. shots really well. Um, and then down the offensive end, let her shoot the three ball, yes. and it will be knocked down. Number one in the WNBL last season for three point percentage, going at a pretty handy 52 percent clip from deep. Zero of four for Alicia Froling from the charity strike so far. It's Adelaide breathe a sigh of relief again. Keeping their starters out on the floor, Adelaide. Hard work. Willoughby for Mansfield. Could you come up with something against the flow? Turner steps back. Tough shot. Blocked, in fact, by Samuels. And Kelly Wilson and the Spirit can have the final say of the half. Ali Wilson steams in. Cops some contact. Count the points. She'll go to the line for an extra. Huge play on the stroke of halftime. Absolutely huge. And I was just going to say before, when Ali Wilson has the ball in her hand, you're not sure what's going to happen. She <laughs> is so creative with it. And she always seems to make the right play. Absolutely pumped. And in a game of this nature, a three-point play like that from Ali Wilson means so much more. Seven seconds for Adelaide to work with. Willoughby kicks it out in good hands with Mansfield. Can't get it to go. Point, those points won't count. Bendigo trailed early stages of this one, but they've been able to work their way back into the game, creep ahead with a three-point play late. And they have a 28 to 23 lead at half time. As we take a look at the first half highlights across the, the first couple of quarters, it was a hot start for the Adelaide Lightning. This player, Izzy Ball, really did set the tone offensively. She's had a great game. 13 of Adelaide's 23 points. But Bendigo, as they so often do, they just grinded their way into the lead on the scoreboard, Tessa. Yeah, absolutely. I've loved the way that Izzy Bourne's come out tonight. She's been really composed when she's got it down low and she knows the shots she wants to take. She's a great three-point shooter, so it stretches the defense. Um, let's just hope that moving forward, we, the game opens up a little bit more, but also I love watching the grind on the defensive end. I love it. One for the basketball aficionados tonight, no doubt. One for the coaches seeing the strong defensive play from both teams. Yeah, Bendigo just able to get there. Nose ahead on the scoreboard late. And at halftime, it is the Bendigo Spirit leading 28 to 23. And as you can see by the field goal percentage, been hard work 
for both teams in particular, the, the Adelaide Lightning going at eight from uh, 36 so far. Bree Turner, zero of four from the field, but she does have the, have the 10 rebounds as well, which goes to show how hard she is working defensively at the moment. Born with the 13 points. Cracker with eight, including a couple of big three-pointers in that first quarter. But we'll take a break here at the Adelaide 36ers Arena. And on the other side of that break, we will have second half action. In a world full of extremes, where nature puts on its most dramatic show, a desert storm is brewing. Life exists here at the limits of survival. survival. <laughs> From the scorching African Sahara to the blistering Aussie outback, how does life survive the fiercest places? A hostile world on Earth. New Planet Earth 3, Sunday after 60 minutes on 9 and 9 now. Ford dealers have backed sport in communities for nearly 100 years. And now, from the Boomers and Opals to Aussie Hoops, your local Ford dealer is proud to support basketball. because all dreams start somewhere. Open again for Southside. Mitchell. Huge play to punch. Here's Samuels. Oh, good handles from Casey Samuels, and it's been her game. Inside outside action. Need to get a shot up. On the buzzer. How about that from Sammy Wickham? Hi, I'm Sammy Whitcomb, and this is Harper. And I'm Steph Reed, and this is Frankie. And we're here with Ford Aussie Hoops, and we're going to go have some fun. It's her head. Wow. <laughs> is that Already not proportionate. And so I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'd give you an extra finger. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God, things. Look, I've set the bar low. Don't even stress. <laughs> Middle part. She's nailed it. She's killing You coming in good with job. the old eye color? You're doing good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Big, pretty blue eyes. <laughs> It's going oh, through the yeah. legs. She knows me. Like signature it up right next to me because we're the ones who did that. I really like my hair. So I love that. Uh, there we go. There it is. Yep. Boom. That's me. guides rate their favorite trips ever. Wet Sundays or so cool. <laughs> what will be their number one trip? My favorite trip is his new travel guides favorite trips. <laughs> Tuesday 7:30 on 9. Hello Australia. Want to go for a ride? A summer heat wave. 
has arrived. This is it. This is what you've been waiting for. Four spicy nights a week. It's open season. It's Love Island. Be Afraid Boys. The power has shifted. <gasps> the girls are in charge. What the hell? What the hell? Surprise. The steamy villain era has arrived. New Love Island. New episodes drop Monday to Thursday on Nine Now. He's an absolute workhorse. Alex Demonor. Australia's top hope. Oh, one shot. He tries to get to every ball. Demonor dazzles in Melbourne. Adelaide 36 is arena for this WNBL clash between the Bendigo Spirit and the Adelaide Lightning. It's Bendigo leading 28 to 23. Ben Waterworth with you in commentary alongside Jewel Olympian and WNBL champion Tessa Lady with the Bendigo Spirit. Love to be out there watching the Bendigo Spirit and hope and trying to get them a win against Adelaide tonight. How you how you feeling watching your uh, your team going about their business, Tessa? <laughs> Um, I love watching, but, you know, I obviously would rather be out there on the court with them. Um, you know, I'm really enjoying watching this game. It's been a real grind, and it's uh, fun to watch on the defensive end, that's for sure. If fans didn't see the uh, the first game that you were part of tonight between uh, Southside and Canberra, you're obviously sidelined with a, with a toe injury at the moment. What's the, the, the state of play on, on your rehab? Um, yeah, the rehab's going really well. It's just going really slowly, so we knew that moving forward, and... Yep. Um, yeah, I decided to take that choice to, you know, focus on my body and really try and get it right. And, um, yeah, I'm only just back running now. So it's been a, a long six to seven, eight months now <laughs> of not doing much um, and having to find other interests off the court. And you found a good interest here with us in the WML commentary position. And you've loved the game so far of Izzy Bourne, who has been a real shining light offensively on a tough night for for scoring. She has 13 of Adelaide's uh, 23 points. She's done it on the inside, but she's also done it from beyond the perimeter too. Yeah, I've really enjoyed her game. Um, she's come in. She knows what her role is. She does the little things well, and she's super composed, considering mm. it's her first season in the league. Um, but as you see there, she's got a smaller cracker on her, and she just takes her time makes her move and then finishes um, and it's really impressive to see some such a young player um, so I'm excited to see what she can do in her career yeah 23 years of age and, and 188 centimeters as well you, you feel like she's got the versatility to play in different types of positions on the floor yeah definitely and I think defensively too I don't think um, we've mentioned that yet that she can probably defend guard to big and um, she's very mobile so it's a credit to her and what she's done uh, overseas in college and then come back over here and brought it here. So the Bendigo Spirit and Adelaide both back out on the floor just uh, minutes away from uh, recommencing this one with Bendigo holding a, a five point advantage. So it was working quite well for the Lightning. Early Bourne was, was firing but Bendigo able to get their way back into the contest uh, objectively. What would you like to see from Adelaide in particular try and get their get themselves uh, back into the contest from a scoreboard perspective? Yes. Um, objectively, yes, um, I'd love to see Adelaide just be a bit more aggressive on the rim, um, a bit more on-ball focused. Okay. Um, so hopefully that can create a little bit more offensively for them and put the pressure on Bendigo again and the referees to make a call. Um, I think that would be nice to see in this second half. Because that's what they were doing early as well. Though. I'm going to get to the foul line pretty early uh, as well, but uh, weren't quite able to uh, continue that throughout. Alicia Froling, uh, well, as uh, she often does uh, these days as well, is a real microwave off off the bench. Her last game against Sydney, she had the 17 points from 22 minutes. She's got the four points and, and the five rebounds from uh, from limited minutes early. Uh, she really is such a handy player to, to come onto the floor midway through the game. 
Yeah, she is. She's always going to instill a bit of energy coming off the bench. And with her length and athleticism, they can use that to their advantage. And I think, um, you know, Froles plays a, plays a really important role in this Bendigo Spirit team. So just from a, you know, great to see Kelsey Griffin back in the team tonight. She obviously missed that. Well, she's missed four games so far um, with, a, with a hamstring injury. There was a pre-game test and she, she passed that fine. So she's back out there tonight. She almost single-handedly beat the, the Boomers a couple, of, uh, a couple of weeks ago. She's still going so strong. Uh, and I, I suppose when you were at, at, at Bendigo last season, she'd be an incredible person to, to play with, both on and off the court. Absolutely, she is. She's someone that really drives standards and keeps everybody accountable. And that's something that I love about KG. Uh, you know what you're going to get with her. Every time she steps on the floor, it's like 150 to 200 percent. Yeah. Um, and that's something that f she's done it for so long. Mm. So it shouldn't be taken for granted. And um, yeah, certainly playing with her, I didn't. And I know that that's what she's going to bring in this second half as well. In her 12th WNBL season, eighth with Bendigo as well. And obviously had the, the four seasons with with Canberra, which included a couple of championships, but obviously part of those uh, historic back-to-back -back Bendigo uh, championships, which our own Tessa was uh, part of, one of them as well. Three-time grand final MVP, WNBL MVP back in 2019. Susie Bakovic medalist was uh, Kelsey Griffin as well. She's standing next to Izzy Bourne, master and apprentice going at it. Great to have your company on nine now, third quarter action. Underway from the Adelaide 36ers Arena, Bendigo holding a 28 to 23 advantage. Werung finds Griffin. She hit the scoreboard here, gets into the lane, almost too easy for KG23 as she hooks it in. So smooth, and I would know that coming out of halftime, they'd be going to KG23. Yeah. yeah. She hits her first field goal of the night. Gives Bendigo a seven-point advantage. Mansfield works her way into the lane, is blocked emphatically by Davis. Still alive, so Willoughby puts up a tough shot, and Turner comes up with a rebound. Willoughby for three, can't get it to go. It's just not dropping from the field for Adelaide. Adelaide just seemed a little bit stagnant there. Would like to see a little bit more early ball movement, create an easier shot for them. Samuels for Griffin. Danger sign. She's got the first two field goals of the half. <laughs> After no points in the first half, she's got four in the blink of an eye. She can heat up quickly, as can Izzy Borlase. Mansfield for Bourne. She was hot early. Floats it in the glass, but not through and into the net. Spirit with a chance for a third consecutive bucket here. Maybe a third consecutive one for Griffin. Werung takes control with eight to shoot. Werung from way downtown. Oh my goodness! Abby Werung hits it from the car park and the Spirit lead by 12. Never missing. Never. <laughs> when at 52% clip last season from three-point territory. Not sure how she went from four-point territory, but... 100%. That's sweet. That's sweet. That's sweet, isn't it? Doesn't put it up a lot, but when she does, she hits most of the time. I think that's something that's underrated about Abby Weerung. She takes the right shots. She doesn't really force any shots. And that's why her percentage is so high. This timeout brought to you by Ford Aussie Hoops, where the old little one is already shooting hoops in the backyard or just looking to get out there and give this sport a go. The Ford Aussie Hoops program is the perfect way to kickstart their basketball journey and a perfect introduction into the world of basketball. It's for kids aged 5 to 10 years of age, so register now and find a program near you at aussiehoops.basketball. And it's a much-needed timeout for Adelaide because, as you mentioned, they're going to KG coming out of out of half time, and just like that, they've put seven points to nothing on the Adelaide Lightning. So they, they need to flip the script pretty quickly here, Adelaide. They do, and they've come out a bit flat. So I think they need to inject some intensity, um, and I think that's on the defensive end. That's yep. where they're going to get it, and they need it. Green Turner 
that defensively? What can they do offensively here? They've got the ball now. With ball A's. Bendigo in his own heel, mixing it up. Willoughby thought about the three. Bourne for ball A's, going baseline. Threw it into Bendigo with four seconds on the shot clock. Griffin made an immediate impact in this second half. Lobs it for Turner. Has to put it up. Does put it up. Can't bank it in. Griffin. Strong board. Cracker and Werung straight to her to get her to her feet. A leader in every sense of the word. By action. By words. Game number 208 in the WNBL tonight. Davis. The cracker. Griffin. She's feeling it. Missed it, but Davis picked up the crumbs. And they have silenced the Adelaide Lightning crowd at the start of this quarter on a 9-0 run. I like how they're being really patient in the offensive end to get the right shot. Can Adelaide get the right shot here? Mansfield, that was pretty. Out of the blue, Lauren Mansfield hits a triple. She makes it the right shot. <laughs> <laughs> Much needed basket for Adelaide. Comes through their vet. Lob pass inside was great from Griffin for Cracker. She hits double figures. Quick response from Bendigo. Almost pinched there by Ali Wilson, but Lauren Mansfield can't make the most of that good look. Griffin, she's got a good look. Mansfield comes up with it at the other end. Six and a half to play in the third quarter. Borlase gets the screen from Bourne. The two young Izzy's working well in tandem. And ball A, he drops that in. Four points for Izzy Ball A's. Foul caught on Mansfield. That was a good offensive possession for Adelaide. They looked early. There was nothing there, so then they were poised in that second part of the shot clock. Really in any foul trouble yet. For either side. Cracker thought about the three. Went up inside instead. And outside for Kelly Wilson. Three to shoot. Cracker. Can't get that one. But Ali Wilson. Great hustle for the offensive rebound and the putback. Big third quarter this is from Bendigo, making a statement here away from home. Mansfield into the corner for Willoughby, who misfires, and Ali Wilson, uncontested, brings down that defensive rebound. Cracker sets, shoots. Oh, that looked good off the hand. Love to see Adelaide here sort of run something for maybe Bourne. She's been a bit quiet now. There, there she is, but it didn't quite have the legs. That lob pass from Ball A's. inside for Alicia Froling off that left hand banks it in recognize the mismatch and just went to it straight away 15 point advantage now Bourne is fouled and will go to the line to shoot two much needed free throws Alicia Froling Giving her case there, and it will be Izzy Bourne at the line. One of two so far tonight. Izzy Bourne. Prior to this game, it had been two of six from the charity stripe. Good on both attempts on that occasion to draw it back to 13 points. She has 15, a game high 
for Adelaide. The issue is that's half of Adelaide's score at the moment. Whoa! A hold and an unsportsmanlike foul. He's called. Ali Wilson, none too pleased. Held by the neck. That was Brooke Basham who's given away the unsportsmanlike and was pretty apologetic, put her hand up straight away. Here's a look on replay. When Adelaide are down by 13, that's not the foul you want. Can't make the most of the first attempt, though. Ali Wilson, she's a 62% free throw shooter. Not the best free throw percentage team this year, the Benigo Spirit. She's good on the second attempt, though. Good to see her back to her feet. Having another big game. She's in a double figures. Ten points to go with four rebounds and two assists. She's lobbing it here for Froling. Kelly Wilson. Great patience shown there. But Adelaide on song defensively. Willoughby brings it away. Runs into trouble. And no one's going to be catching Ali Wilson here. Fast transition basket off the turnover. Adelaide really need to get things back on their terms. It's starting to get out of hand. Bourne gives them two back. Great poise. She has got 17 points, Izzy Bourne. Always playing a lone hand, and then she blocks at the other end. Doing it at both ends of the floor. We talk about Tessa beforehand, the, the terrific young guards we've got in Australian basketball. This is exciting to see a 188 centimetre player really lifting here in, in the WNBL. Yeah, absolutely. We've spoken about the depth in the point guard position. It's super exciting for Australian basketball. And then, yeah, Izzy Bourne coming across back from college. Yep. It's super exciting. The depth of the WNBL is just incredible. Um, and I think I mentioned it in the last broadcast, but yeah, I'd love to see a couple more WNBL teams around. Wouldn't that be nice? Up there in a bit of expansion chat. <laughs> Cracker for Froling. For Samuels. Quick catch and shoot there. Good defense from Brazil. She was right onto it. Forced a tough shot. Can the Adelaide players at the bench give him a bit of a lift here? Bourne for Brazil with nine to shoot. The floater was near the target. I think Hurst is looking for a little bit of a spark in energy, yeah. and that's why she's got a couple that have come off the bench. Um, You've seen that with Basham playing some really tough defense, which is really cool. Six to shoot here for Cracker. Crossing over. Working away inside. Travels. Argues her case to the referee. A better defense from Adelaide. Can the young players spark a lightning revival here? Offensive foul, though, is called on Bree Turner. It's the right idea. They're trying to get a lot of movement into an on-ball. Just feet weren't set, went a bit early. Casey okay, so Samuels able to draw the contact. So Bendigo holding his 14-point advantage. Now this time on Bourne, it looks like. Second personal foul. Just Bree Turner also has three fouls to her name. She's staying out on the floor. Mansfield taking a seat. Let's see, 15 foul on the Lightning in this quarter. So Kelsey Griffin at the line. The bouncy rings <laughs> happen again. <laughs> That time didn't need any rim. One of 
two for Kelsey Griffin. Long lob pass for Brazel. They get through the defense with the lightning tonks for Turner, who's staying out there despite the three fouls. Basham. Bourne. Lost control. And sent it out of bounds. Bendigo Spirit Bench right up, and rightly so. They're playing a mighty defensive game. I love that from Bourne. She could have sort of just complained to the referees, but you're never going to change the mind of a referee. So no. she just got on with the game. So there's been a tech foul off the ball before the ball was brought in bounds. Some clarity on that, but in the meantime, Aaron Cracker is at the charity stripe. That's the second time that has happened in the third quarter. Yeah, Bendigo have had a look like that. So it's technical against the bench. That's uh, what's being called. It's the Adelaide Lightning. Griffin lobs it up, hoping for Davis, but Turner was able to knock it away. Jump ball is called. Is he born arguing her case? I'd love to see a little bit of poise from Adelaide here. I know the score seems like it's getting out a little bit, but you want poise, you want shots that you know that you're going to get. A bit of predictability. Mm. 16 points to make up here for Adelaide. Tox! Yes! That was pretty. Liz Tox gets her scoring underway. Third time she scored in a game this season. Griffin for Samuels. Intensity in the tempo just kicks up a little bit here. Samuels finds Griffin tough underneath the basket. Griffin at her best. It's great defense, but just better offense. Yeah. Seen that a lot from Kelsey Griffin over the years. Born. All oxygen on that attempt. So Bendigo hit the half century. In a minute and 13 seconds left. Griffin for Kelly Wilson. Cracker. Fine space, and that's dangerous. She has been deadly from beyond the arc tonight. Tick into the final minute. Tonks for Bourne. Razzle feeds ball A. Three for Izzy. 12 points just before three quarter time. Just feels a lot closer than 15. Plenty of time left in this game. Offensive foul is called. Much easy board surprise and ball ace. There'll still be a shot clock. They've been on Kelsey Griffin for the... After she fed the ball off. Those calls are always so tough. Mm. I'm just like, fair bump, play on. Oh, lobs it. Unlucky roll. Davis comes up with it. Good hustle defense. Griffin. Cracker. Full short. The Spirit extend their lead in that third quarter, but Lightning just able to give themselves a sniff at three-quarter time. It's Bendigo 50, the Adelaide Lightning 38 as we turn for home. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from that third quarter, and it started pretty emphatically from a Bendigo perspective with Kelsey Griffin 
finding touch, finding groove, and that's something that if you're an opposition player and coach you don't want, then Abby Werung just hitting one from very long range. But just Kelsey Griffin lifted in that quarter, and it just felt like the team came with her in that third quarter, Tessa. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Kelsey leads from the front, and then Bendigo followed. So I think Adelaide, what they need to do here is just have a little bit more poise with the ball, um, stay, su stay super aggressive yeah. with it. Um, yeah, trust their offensive sets. Move the ball side to side, uh, get the right shot. And we do have to remember as well, it's no Steph Talbot, obviously. There's hope that she'll come back towards the back end of this season. Lauren Mansfield, 183 games of WNBL experience. But this is a young Adelaide team, certainly when you, you match it up against the, the experience of the Bendigo Spirit Tessa. Yeah, it is. But, you know, watching this game, it does not seem like that. Yeah. I think you've got... Born, you've got Brazil, you've got Borlays. They're playing some really great basketball, and um, yeah, they're fun to watch. And I think with Lauren Mansfield at the point guard position, she's going to get them to play some really good sets and play some really smart basketball. Just hasn't dropped offensively tonight. They're 25% of the Adelaide Lightning from the field. Izzy Bourne has been a shining light, but <laughs> she's 6 of 16 from the field. She's got 17 points for her to go with four rebounds as well. Brie Turner already with 11 rebounds as well, the number one rebounder in the WNBL. So from, if you coach Kennedy Kerry Armour at the moment, you've got a 12-point advantage. We often talk about what does Adelaide need to do. What do you think the, the, the vibe and the message is amongst Bendigo when you're holding a 12-point lead with Adelaide very much still in striking distance? Yeah, I think the message would be to continue to play the same way and especially in the first couple of minutes, set that tone really early. Um, if I was Kennedy Karima, I'd be going at Brianna Turner in the first one to two minutes, yeah. try and get her fourth foul, put her under pressure. Yeah, she's got those three fouls to her name, no points, but 11 boards for Brie Turner. Sitting in the lane at the moment. Offensive foul is called against the Spirit. I think Wilson called for the foul. It's her second personal. What can the Lightning do in response? I have a little crossover. Good from Brazel. And then both players hit the floor. A lot of offensive fouls in this second half. Borlase this time hits the deck. Physical contest. It has been a really physical game, and I love that. Um, you don't really want to see games that are sort of not physical. Mm. And I love that the referees sort of let, let them play. Happy Wearing this time called for the foul. Borlase. <laughs> Tough shot, somehow drops. We're back to 10 points. In the attempt of a steal. Knocks it out of bounds. Nine minutes, 17 on the clock. Adelaide not out of this one yet. Did trail by as much as 16. Werung finds a way through. All class, Abby Werung. Great take, but uh, just took what the defense gave her. Didn't force anything. Lovely crossover from Borlase. Kicks it out. Tonks. Second triple for Liz Tonks. Back to a single digit margin. Adelaide starting to hit a couple of shots. Foul is before the shot. It's going to be a baseline ball here for Bendigo. Paul Lays has made some massive plays yeah. and offensive foul. Uh, made the ball turn over in the half court and then just getting in deep and creating for someone else. And she's very young, but she's a big moments player. Something a number of times across the past two years. His game intriguingly poised. Razzle 
playing tight defense on Kelly Wilson. Wearung goes to work, trying to create. Wilson tucked up near the, the line, forced into a tough shot. Shot clock violation. Another stop for Adelaide. Promising start to this quarter for the Lightning. Griffin back onto the floor, also Ali Wilson. Minor Bree Turner on three fouls. Ball lays, has Ali Wilson for company. Gets the screen from Turner, then kicks it out. Quick shot, just off target. It's deemed off Bendigo hands. The shot came from Brazel. Malays couldn't keep it alive. And well played by Brazel. A defensive end. Oh, so <laughs> one referee said we're going one way and then was overruled. We're going back the other way. You can judge for yourself here. We'll take a timeout nonetheless. Here at Adelaide 36ers Arena. Hi, I'm Lucy and I'm Raymond. And this is Ali This timeout is brought to you by the WNBL and specifically the official WNBL app, which is here for the 2023 24 season. You won't miss a minute of the action with all the live scores, highlights, player and team info with the WNBL app. Download it for free today from wherever you get your apps from. Nine point ball game. Bendigo 52, Adelaide 43. Is it just a couple of individuals that are standing up for Adelaide Tessa that have got them back in the ball game? Or have you noticed something tactically or something that's going on that I've seen Adelaide sort of fight back a little bit? Yeah, I think we've mentioned it. Um, Borlase has made some really massive plays. Um, Vaughan, she's been great for the three quarters. I'd love to see Adelaide sort of go back to her and try and get her an open shot mm -hmm. or let her go one-on-one -on -one down low in the post with her composure. Um, and then for the spirit, I think they just need to have some poise on the offensive end as well and choose a really good shot, hit good screens, yep. but take time when they have the ball. Exactly. Resting born at the moment. She's uh, been on the bench for a few minutes now. Brazel has got the gig at the moment. The other four starters out there for Adelaide. Three to shoot here for Ali Wilson. Steps back, high, off target. Another shot clock violation forced by Adelaide. Ball with ball A's. The young gun, can she stand up in another big moment? Steps inside on Griffin, can't get it to go. Great defense from Griffin. Ball A's knocks it out of bounds to stop the momentum. Great matchup seeing those two go at it. It's really fun to watch, yeah. actually. Yeah. Two tough competitors. Cracker for Froling for Ali Wilson. Well, dribble is called. The Lightning again, forcing a turnover. Get the ball back. The key is to make a count at the other end of the floor. Only Wilson called for the foul. The second personal foul. Second team foul against the Spirit in this quarter. Impressive in court defense there. What have Adelaide got? Mansfield thought about the three. Turner passed it off. Blaze wasn't quite cutting through the pace as needed. And Werung is free for three. Can't leave her open. The deadly shooter that she is comes up with a big time three. Brazel. Showing great confidence to drive inside. Six and a half to play here for the Lightning. Ball lays with four to shoot for three. Missed it. An important 
couple of plays for Bendigo now. Griffin feeds Werung. Could she hit again? Six to shoot. She's feeling it. Abby Werung falls short. A rare miss from deep. Can Adelaide make her pay at the other end? Mansfield. Mid-range two. Easy pickings for Lauren Mansfield. Back to a 10-point game. That was a nice possession. Mansfield used her poise to get down. She wanted to get Turner on the rim, but then she realised that she was open herself and took the right shot. Ali Wilson. Looking for a pass on the inside. Swatted away by Adelaide. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Just over five and a half on the game clock. Kelly Wilson checks in for Ali Wilson. Still no Izzy Bourne out there for Adelaide. Alicia Froling can't bank it in. And Willoughby with a big strong rebound. Mansfield has Willoughby who takes on the responsibility. Can't hit the three. Turner goes into the stands. It's deemed off Rowling's hands. And we've got the 14 seconds here for Adelaide to work with. That was a big play. Turner didn't give up. Now they got the ball back in the half court. That's why she's regarded as... That's why she's a two-time WNBA All-Defensive First Team Bree Turner. Five to shoot. Brazel has to put it up. Well off target. Turner brings down the rebound and will head to the line. One of three from the free throw line so far this season, Bree Turner. That is her first point of the game. Five minutes to play here. It's still a nine-point ball game. Adelaide. A couple more challenges left in them here. For back for Werung, who's been so influential in this fourth quarter. Cracker for Werung. She's real deep. It doesn't... Oh, it look good off the hand. Adelaide with a chance at the other end. Mansfield goes to work. Beautiful pass inside for Turner. Timeout calls. Lauren Mansfield showing all her class and experience to feed Turner, who's got the last three points of the game. And it's a seven-point differential between these two sides. Big couple of minutes for Bree Turner. She's got three points to go with 13 rebounds now. And after Bendigo led by as much as 16 in that third quarter, Adelaide are within seven points. Can the spirit hold on here, Tessa? Of course they can hold on here, Ben. Don't ask me that question. <laughs> no, I think, um, you know, Benigo have some depth and experience here. And yeah. these sort of games, they know how to play. Um, but also, Adelaide, they're playing with a lot of confidence. So I'll, I'd back them in as well. And a couple, a couple of big plays from Lauren Mansfield in particular the last couple of minutes. Yeah, Lauren Mansfield, she's a, she's a big game player. She makes the right plays. Um, and that's a credit to her and the way that she goes about her basketball. Tough night at the offensive end of the floor for both teams. Starting five's done a, a mountain of work. Here is Lauren Mansfield on screen. She's up to three assists tonight. Brazel staying out there, so Bourne's still on the bench. Some sort of issue with Missy Bourne. So Froling left wide alone here. Worked away inside. Griffin desperate for the ball. It's deemed off Adelaide's hands. 14 seconds for the spirit.
Kelly Wilson. Long attempt from Cracker out of nowhere. Oh, nylon. Lee's Adelaide fans gobsmacked. Huge three pointer to make it a 10 point lead again for Bendigo. Can Mansfield respond with their own three? <laughs> what a start. How good is this? Two massive threes just hit. Points starting to flow late in the game. Froling guarded by Turner. Great defense from Turner. KG 23 off target. Three and a half to play. Borlase works away inside, outside to Mansfield. And then Willoughby with the offensive rebound. Adelaide feeling it. Borlase behind the back. Inside for Turner. Good hands in there from the Bendigo defense. Forced it out of bounds with two seconds on the shot clock. Nice D by Froling there. They'd isolated her and uh, Borlase and she kept her in front, which was nice. And then Cracker comes up with a steal. A couple of big defensive plays from Bendigo. Kelly Wilson guarded by Mansfield. Ball A's tough defense on Samuels. Samuels can't find a way through, loses control. Lightning get the ball back, less than three minutes to play. Bendigo, three team fouls in this quarter. Adelaide, two. Turner, the only player on the floor with three or more fouls. You want the ball in uh, the hands of Mansfield or Borlase here. Create something, try and get into the key, feed it out. Get Turner on the rim as well. Borlase is open, but there's a foul off the ball. Does it count? It's hit by Borlase. Referees confer now to work out whether that three ball from Borlase will count. Big moment in the game. This is a massive moment. <laughs> It counts. It counts. Borlais hits the three. Kelly Wilson can't believe it. And now we've got a baseline ball. Adelaide back within four. Brazel. Having to step up in the big moments here. Drives to Mansfield, who's left all by herself. Two-point ball game. What a pass and what a cut. What a comeback from Adelaide. Griffin throws it away. Adelaide with all the momentum with over two minutes to play. Adelaide bench up, Nat Hurst pacing and nervy. Mansfield has been influential this quarter. Willoughby, aggressive, can't draw the contact. Turner can't bring down the rebound. Griffin just gets it to her teammate. Last two minutes of the game. Thought about the three, Nick Griffin. Lost control. Here comes Ball A's. Has Werung behind her. Takes it on. Mansfield. Brazel! Can't get it to go. Foul is called. It will be going the way of the spirit. Samuels made to earn that. I thought that was going down. That looked great, that shot. Would have brought the house down. Wilson 
with a minute 30 left for Griffin. Back for Ali Wilson. Come back onto the floor. Can she inject some life here? Samuels thought about the three. Went inside as well. Is blocked by Turner. The momentum shift in this game has been significant. Borlase for Mansfield, for Willoughby. Seven to shoot. Back for Mansfield. Whistle. Defensive foul call to block. That was nice by Willoughby. There wasn't really much happening, but she chose to put it on the floor. So Be the, really aggressive. The spirit in the bonus. Kelsey Griffin with her third personal foul. And Jocelyn Willoughby at the line. She's the Adelaide Lightning's best free throw shooter at 79%. Could we say OT? <laughs> <laughs> we had it for the first time of the uh, season last weekend between the Caps and the Boomers. And with one minute and one second left, we're all tied up. 58 to peace. Don't go anywhere. Hasn't the crowd lifted at 36's arena? Ali Wilson tightly guarded. Brazzle almost came up with it. With Bourne off the court, hasn't Taylor Brazzle played a terrific fourth quarter? She has. She's just been super active on the defensive end. As well as Turner, they've made some massive defensive plays. Just a second season with Adelaide. Only 19 years of age, Taylor Brazzle. Great to see her back out the floor. Ruptured an ACL in April 2022. Now she's having a big influence on an important WNBL game. Three seconds to shoot. Got to put it up. Cracker, not aware of the clock. Was she fouled? She was fouled before the shot. She will head to the line to shoot two. Can you believe it? I can. <laughs> I can believe it. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> Merrin Cracker will go to the line. She's a 60% free throw shooter this season so far. Misses. The foul was on Brazzle. Gets the second. Timeout called. 37 and a half left. Bendigo by one. Incredible swing this has been from the Adelaide Lightning. They trail by 16 points early stages. But it has been their two match winning guards, Lauren Mansfield, the captain. He's up to 13 points and Borlays with 12. Izzy Bourne hasn't been on the court. We have to assume that's due to injury. But haven't those two guards stepped up, Tessa, in this second half? They really have. And if you look at Adelaide, they've had a really great balance of scoring, rebounding. Um, everyone's carried the, the load a little bit there. And then um, when big plays need to be played, Mansfield, Borlays and Turner have all turned up which is really cool to see for the Adelaide Lightning. What do you want to see from Bendigo out of his timeout, Tessa? Oh, I don't know. Dare say it. Maybe his own, but right. <laughs> that's me. My point guard little brain sort of going around in a circle. <laughs> um, but, nah, I, I think it'll be man-to-man, -man and um, it'll put the pressure on Adelaide to make a play. Just great. Lots of communication, early communication. Um, yeah, and then put the pressure on the... Referees as well to sort of make a call one-on-one. -on -one. And plenty of experience out the floor as well from a Bendigo perspective. Both Kelly Wilson and Kelsey Griffin. They've been in this position. A lot. Yeah, too many times to mention. 640 plus WNBL games between them. Ball with ball A's and Mansfield. Spirit in the bonus, remember. Lightning with next foul there in the bonus. Three to shoot, ball A's has to put it up. He's blocked by Griffin. Then she puts it up herself. Can you believe it? Ball A's amazes at Adelaide 37.
Sixers Arena. Oh she gives God. Adelaide the lead with 22 on the clock. Oh my goodness. First the block by KG and then she followed up. Let that be a lesson to everybody watching. Do not give up on the play. Timeout called as you'd expect. Here's a look. The block from Griffin was awesome. The follow-up from Borlase, just as good. Next to no celebration, except for that smile right at the end. She knows she done good. And with no shot clock left, and neither team has fouls to give, really, we're going down to the wire. Is this the situation, Tessa, where you really wish you were playing rather than watching? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I have no control here. Whereas <laughs> if I was on the court, I'd have that, that tiny little bit of uh, control. Um, but, you know, anything can happen in this sort of scenario. They've reset the clock to 24 seconds now, and they're going to take the full 24. Yep. So in this situation, sometimes they can bring it up and just have the 14 second in the half court. Yep. Um, but yeah, I think smart decision by Ben Yugo to take the full clock, yep. get the last shot. Here we go. Crowd lifts. Who's going to stand up? Ali Wilson loses control. Foul is called. Ben Yugo heading to the line. And it's in the hands of Ali Wilson. A 62% free throw shooter this season. Really aggressive play by Ali Wilson. Great ball movement. You could tell they wanted that. Exactly that sort of ball movement and then into a rip on the rim. The Adelaide local on her home floor, but in opposition colours, misses. All tied up. It's out of bounds. It's off Bendigo. Tie out again. And overtime just got a little bit more momentum for you, Tessa. <laughs> it did, it did. We've only had one this season, so maybe we'll see. Both teams in the bonus. 60 points apiece. It has been a terrific last quarter. It really has come to life. As you look at the next four games for the Adelaide Lightning, I don't want to get too much further behind. Currently two and four, two consecutive losses. They went down to Townsville only a few days ago in Townsville. Now back in their home floor. Bendigo looking for their second consecutive win. They've got tough games coming up as well as playing Adelaide again. They've got two games coming up against the fly, against the Southside Flyers, round six and seven. And the season goes very, very quickly, and it's this time for, for both of these clubs right now, Tessie, you don't want to get too far behind in the win-loss ratio. Yeah, you're right there. Um, I think both are definitely trying to find that next win, um, and I think for Bendigo, it's super important to, to get that next win on the board, but also, the seat, it's still only early. There's still a whole bunch of games to come, um, so whatever happens tonight, moving forward, WNBL is in a really awesome yeah. position. All oh, the pass has been turned over, has it? Players scrap for the ball. Four seconds of basketball has gone down. Jump ball is still a lightning possession, but Bendigo have taken four seconds off the clock. Cracker's done that really well this game. She's anticipated the pass and she's gone for it. She's created a couple of offensive um, transition points with that. Mansfield with the inbounds pass. Ball lays. 19 years of age. She'll have the shot. She'll fall short. And we are heading to overtime in Adelaide. Unbelievable that Adelaide were down by 16, start of the third quarter, and they have forced overtime. It's really impressive, especially they've come down from Townsville as well. They've yeah. travelled um, quite a short turnaround. Um, and then, yeah, just to get themselves back in this game, force on overtime. 
I think it's uh, going to be a very exciting OT. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from that fourth quarter. And it has been all about... Been Taylor Brazel who's taken the shoulder of uh, the load in uh, that fourth quarter as well. For the spirit, Marin Cracker is continuing to have a big influence on the WNBL in her first season. Five minutes of OT coming your way on nine now. Thanks for staying with us. If I were Kennedy right now, Turner's got four fouls. Yep. That'd be the first play. Go at Turner. Try and get her out of this OT. Ali Wilson up high. Can't get it to go. No foul call on Turner. She was attempting the big block. And now Adelaide will get a look at the offensive end of the floor. Ball lays v. Froling. Works her way inside. Can't get it to go. Can't get the offensive rebound either. We're on back on the floor as well. She gets it from Froling. Foul is called on Willoughby. You can see that Turner is really playing a drops defensive um, on the on balls, especially with Froling. So if I was Benny, I'd want to get Froling in as many on balls as possible to get Turner to sort of come out of that key because at the moment she's just plugging it up and almost being an extra defender for, for Adelaide. <laughs> That was the second foul on Jocelyn Willoughby. Alicia Froling gets that one to go. She's now one of five from the free throw line. And importantly, hits both in overtime to give Bendigo the lead. Willoughby for Mansfield. For ball A's, for three. Boom! <laughs> Big bucket from ball A's. Big bucket ball A's. That's her new nickname. <laughs> <laughs> At the other end, though, Cracker hits it. Leading score for Bendigo tonight. She gets the two and gives Bendigo the lead again. Ball A's. Beautiful feed. Great pass. I don't know how she found that, but she did. They Mat work. Maturity beyond her years to find Turner. Adelaide regained the lead. This seesawing contest continues. Griffin for Ali Wilson. Five to shoot. She steps back. In and out. Big defensive stop here for the Adelaide Lightning. Fatigue setting in in this fifth period. Ball lays again for three. Well off target. And this is when all those preseason hours, Tessa, OT, they really kick in. Absolutely, they do. These are the games you, you play for and you train for in the off-season. 
cracker for Ali Wilson. Five to shoot again. Bendigo using up all their shot clock. Alicia Froling turning around. Can't get it to go. No foul called. Two and a half to play in the first overtime. Nice poise here, shown by Borlase. Could have easily just rushed ahead, but using the full shot clock. Five to shoot. Borlase has got to put up, put up the prayer here. Turner, a rare three. Can't bank it in. Good defense from Bendigo. Now they get a look to regain the lead. Wilson. Oh, banks it in. Ali Dub. 67-65. What have Adelaide got? Borlais keeps it alive. Throws it into Griffin. It's out of bounds with six seconds on the shot clock. Cracker takes a seat, as does Griffin. Casey Samuel steps onto the floor. A minute and a half left. Turner still on the four fouls. Griffin has three for Bendigo. Willoughby has to go. Hoping for Turner. It's off Adelaide hands. Bendigo get it back. Both teams are having players just step up. And that's what I love about the WNBL. At any moment, any player can step up and make a big play. Ninety seconds left. Samuels feeds Kelly Wilson. Froling thought about the cut. Instead went to Abby Warren, who was rejected emphatically by Bree Turner. Timing personified from the defensive star. Werung is so good driving to the basket, usually as well. Six to shoot here. Pass inside for Griffin. V. Turner. Great defense, Turner. Ali Wilson, can she do it again? D not sure if she saw the clock. Griffin hits it, but it doesn't count. I thought that was after the shot. Kelsey Griffin. Well, then it looked like she thought so. Let's head upstairs. <laughs> head upstairs, please. <laughs> Now a minute left. Great to have you with us on nine now. OT basketball for the second time in this WNBL season. Born back out there. Borlay's offensive foul is caught against her. She argues her case. That won't change the referee's mind. Huge defensive play. Again, it's Ali Wilson. She's pumped too. Massive plays on massive plays. So good to watch. She's in form of her life, you think, at the moment, Ali Wilson. She's playing some really great basketball. Samuels for Ali Wilson. She's been the go to. Lobs it in for Griffin. Players collide. Defensive foul called. Jocelyn Willoughby with her third personal. That was great help. That's a tough call. She has her say that the Bendigo spirit will have a look from the charity, charity stripe now through Kelsey Griffin. Champion of this league, who has stepped up to the plate more than anyone else in this league over the years. The four-time WNBL champ misses. And again. Good on the second attempt. Looks like she's still a bit rattled from that hit. Still favouring her nose there. So we've got a timeout with 30, 
and a half seconds left and a three-point lead for Bendigo. And as we've seen in the past quarter and a half, Tessa, Adelaide have just kept on fighting. That never-say-die attitude has kept them in this contest. They really have, and I've been super impressed by all well, their really uh, young stars. They've all taken their moment, um, and I love the leadership from Mansfield to come up. She's made some really great plays. Um, yeah, so it's been really exciting to watch, and who knows, maybe an OT number two. <laughs> So Kelsey Griffin, before those free throw attempts, a couple of plays beforehand, had a look for three. Did it come before the shot or not? Go again, go again. <laughs> <laughs> it was so quick. It was split second. Guess yeah. we'll never know. It was a real split second. Get the replay on nine now and pause it at the right time and make up your own mind. Here's a look. Oh no. 20. Rather 30 point and a half seconds remaining now. Ball A's guarded by Ali Wilson. Oh, Ball A's just to put up a tough shot. Nowhere near it in the end. Kelly. Kelsey Griffin rather comes up with it. Wearing up the other end, lays it in. Big defense from Bendigo. Borlaise will have to put it up. Is blocked right at the last minute by a Cracker. She's pumped. And Bendigo escape with a thrilling overtime win. Bendigo 70, Adelaide 65 in a classic WNBL contest that had absolutely everything. That was fun. It was a great game of hoops, Tessa Lady. Absolutely. Very impressed by Adelaide and the way that they played. Um, but, yeah, I think Bendigo's experience sort of showed out a little bit, although they were up by 16. Um, and Adelaide came back, and all their stars stood up at the right moment. As Tessa mentioned, Adelaide trailed by as much as 16 points in the third quarter, but they launched an almighty comeback. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from that overtime period. It was topsy-turvy, but it was that three ball from Ali Wilson, and then at the defensive end of the floor, earned the offensive foul call, and it just, you, you sense from that moment, Bendigo had control of the game, Tessa. Yeah, you did. I think um, Ali Wilson's three, and as you said, that charge, that was a huge play. And a credit to her to trust herself with those sort of moments and really take them. So speaking of Ali Wilson, we talked about how informed she was playing in Adelaide during the NBL 1 2023 season. She couldn't have been more impressive in that, uh, in that NBL 1 campaign. She's back with Bendigo for her third season, uh, her 12th season in the WNBL. We know she's a two-time WNBL champion, but she's 29 years of age. She's been, been around the, the competition for a long time, Tessa. But game 210 tonight was really, really important. And import, yeah, in terms of just her ability to stand up in real clutch moments tonight. Yeah, exactly right. I think Ellie Wilson has really taken her game to the next level over the last couple of seasons. I think you've seen it. And she's put it on herself to make those plays in those big moments. And as a player, you want those players on your team. And she does that time and time again. It's just her acceleration and her speed as well. I think you mentioned a couple of times her creativity in ball and hand. Sometimes you don't know what's, what's going to happen. But at the moment, everything's sort of coming to gold for Ali Wilson. And when I say sometimes you don't want to know what's going to happen, she knows exactly yeah, what's yeah, going to happen. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> A big play. They are stuffed. The Bendigo players on the floor had to work mighty hard for that win. But importantly, it's a second straight win for the Bendigo spirit. They were certainly made to earn it as well. Adelaide had their opportunities. You look at the field goal percentage in the end. They put up 81 shots across the five. Well, the four and a half periods tonight, really going at 28% from the field as well. They did get going. I think their, their three-point game probably in the end 
helped him get going and get back uh, into the game as well. Is he ball lays those 17 points? She, she was the player that was entrusted mainly with the re responsibility in that uh, in that fourth and overtime periods as well. She's only going to get better for the for these kinds of experiences. Yeah, she is. I think um, something that she'll probably take out of this game is you know she could do that for four quarters, and um, I think that's a conscious decision that you know it, you take those moments. And OT in the fourth quarter, she really stood up. So. I'm very impressed by her tonight, and uh, I really look forward to watching her career build over the next uh, few seasons. Still one game to go in round five of the Signet WNBL. It's a big one tomorrow from the uh, from Parkville. It'll be Melbourne Boomers taking on the Perth Lynx as well. Two really exciting teams. If Perth get going, they are a fun team to watch, but Melbourne are undefeated and hard to knock over on their home floor in particular. Well, Tessa, you did very, very, I, I really wish we had a camera on you to watch to watch <laughs> that game because you rode every bump during uh, overtime and during, throughout that whole contest. Uh, you got Bendigo over the line in the end. It was, a, it was a thrilling win for Bendigo. It really was, and I'm thankful that there's no cameras in here <laughs> so no one can see that, but I've had a really great night uh, yeah, well commentating, so I appreciate it. Thanks, Ben. Very impressive debut from Tessa Levy, and on behalf of Tessa and our entire hard-working team, this is Ben Waterworth signing off from the Adelaide 36ers Arena, where we saw an...